Welcome to the Swamp Chat, brothers and sisters. I'm your host, Steve Best. We're coming up on the time of the anniversary of the plane crash. I've had several of my fans uh, request uh, uh, to do a show about what Ronnie was really like. So uh, in the seven years that I knew Ronnie, uh, this is the person that I knew. Uh, Ronnie Van Zant was well defined on the inside of his uh, heart who he was. Uh, he was well defined as a male. He was well defined as a man's man. He was always a leader, not a follower. And uh, other men admired that, uh, you know, in Ronnie. What Ronnie couldn't stand in somebody was a chameleon. Someone that blends with a group of people that they're with at the time, so you don't know really who they are. You don't know what kind of principles they have or convictions. Uh, no individualism at all. Roddy hated that. He hated it a lot. Uh, I have an old friend that's an ordained minister, uh, and he was a street preacher uh, back in those days. He still is a street preacher. And uh, one time, Ronnie was talking to me at the Greenfield Stables. His name is uh, Reverend Merrill David Tripp. And Ronnie said, uh, I had not yet met David. And this was between 1969 and 1970. And uh, Ronnie uh, said, uh, uh, Steve, is somebody you ought to get to know. He's, uh, he's a street preacher. I think you'd really like him. Uh, I really admire him. I think he's pretty cool. I've seen him in several different places around Jacksonville, all the way out to the beach. And uh, he just goes out and uh, talks to the kids and listens to the problems. Uh, and Roddy admired this man. And I told uh, the other night, I was talking to David. We're still close personal friends. And uh, David didn't even know that Roddy felt that way about him. Uh, in 19, uh, the end of 1969, we were playing out the Forest Inn, and Ronnie uh, introduced me to Drew Lumbar, uh, the leader, uh, the band leader of a band called the King James Version. And uh, I knew Drew uh, only as an acquaintance. Ronnie made, a for, uh, made it so I could have a formal introduction to Drew Lumbar. And uh, Ronnie uh, uh, told Drew, you need yourself a front man, Drew. You're a great guitarist but you need a really good lead vocalist. So uh, why don't you give Steve a chance? Uh, the following Tuesday, I went down to the Magi house and uh, auditioned as the lead singer for the King James Version. Uh, not too long after that, the name was changed to Magi, uh, like the name of uh, the house itself where we uh, did our recordings. Uh, this is the kind of person I knew Ronnie to be. If you listen to the lyrics of his songs, he talks about men uh, that uh, have no convictions, uh, mealy mouths, uh, wimps, wussies, strolls in the wind, we used to call them. Uh, no respect for them whatsoever. If you wanted to be Ronnie's friend, you wanted to be close to Ronnie, you had to really know who you were as a man. Uh, same thing with women. He liked women that were strong women. Uh, not necessarily not domineering women, but women who knew who they were. Ronnie just had no time for dead fish floating down the stream. Uh, this is what Ronnie was really like. Uh, we'll all celebrate uh, uh, October 20th in our own ways. Please lift me up in prayer. Uh, I battled depression even to this day uh, on that day. So please remember me in prayer. And I'll see you at the next Swamp Chat, brothers and sisters.